And welcome back to VMworld Live. I'm John Troyer. We're here in Copenhagen at uh, VMworld 2010. For our next segment, very pleased to have with us uh, Alberto Farinato from VMware and Product Marketing. Hi, John. Hi, as well as uh, Martin Kirch from uh, from uh, the SUSE, uh, from our Hello. fine friends at, at Novell. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, John. It's day three of the conference, <laughs> and um, we've, we've, we've been broadcasting a lot. It's really great. It's a, it's, a, it's a really great conference, and it's really great to be able to bring people in here and talk it's, it's to a, folks. It's a really great uh, online. conference, and it's really great to be able so to bring today people we're, in right here. Right really so, so today we're right now for this next segment. So today we're right now for this next segment. We're here online. So today we're right now for this next segment. We're here online. Enterprise Linux operating system at no additional cost over over vSphere. Uh, I think it's a very powerful and uh, uh, compelling offer. Uh, essentially, customers uh, that are entitled, and we can talk a little bit about um, how and who is entitled, um, get uh, a, a, a activation to to a subscription to uh, slash uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server for uh, for VMware, and they can use it in an unlimited uh, fashion uh, in their vSphere environment. So they can spin up as many virtual machines as they want uh, for for vSphere host. Uh, in addition to that, we also offer technical support. Um, VMware delivers directly this technical support to to users and. That's uh, optional, and you can you can purchase it separately, either from VMware directly or from from, from our partners. Okay. So I think that's that's another great value. So you buy vSphere or any number of SKUs. Yes. You then have the the right to you can you can ha you obviously you can down you can you can download this special version. It's a little it's a slightly different packaging, same distribution, slightly different packaging. Asus Linux Enterprise for VMware. It's the logos and some. Yeah. Like so that. there are, there are some branding changes, of course. So it looks nice. Got the VMware logos on it, of course. And now uh, we remove some competing technology like the Zen um, hypervisor. No, you wouldn't. You would never need that. That's exactly. Uh, <laughs> the, the the distribution is really optimized to be run on top of VMware. So, gosh. So you do that, then you can you can run SUSE Linux Enterprise Server on that on that vSphere, any number of any number of VMs as you as you'd like, and then you also get the uh, rights to the subscription for updates and patches. Yes. Now, how and, and that, those are for net for net new licenses of, of vSphere and, yes. and some of the other. Uh, so the way how do you go get them? Yeah, so the way it works today is a little bit complicated, and we're working to simplify it. Uh, but as of right mm -hmm. now, uh, only customers who purchased qualified licenses, vSphere licenses, um, on or after June 9th. So we're fulfilling also orders that have been uh, sort of um, done before the, the the GA date on, on September 1st. Uh, all these qualified customers will receive uh, an email uh, from VMware directly. Uh, in the email, uh, we'll you know, highlight whatever order we're um, uh, fulfilling uh, for, for, for SLES, and we'll uh, include an activation code. The activation code is, is, is a number, basically, uh, that you can um, use from within the um, uh, Novell website uh, to activate the, the, the subscription to SLES for VMware. Uh, so it's pretty simple, a uh, pretty simple uh, process. Um, and once you just uh, activated the, the subscription, you can pretty much deploy it on as many number of, of hosts uh, as you want. I just, I just wanted to add because sure. I think that was number one question to Novell at VMware here. Where do I get this email? Mm -hmm. And the emails have been sent out, but um, the person that's receiving the emails is the person that is on the uh, purchase order, so it could be the procurement ah, so, person so your procurement that just deletes have their licenses. <laughs> yeah, have your have your subscription. Yeah. Uh, yes. So check with your with your procurement person. Yes. And, and the other thing to remember about is that there's a little bit of lag between when you purchase vSphere and when you actually receive the email from VMware to activate uh, the subscription. Um, there are some IT processes <laughs> in the back end that need to happen, and there's also some processes to send out emails. So um, customers should be a little bit patient. Uh, wait few days to get uh, to get um, the email if they don't get it or they have questions they can always call VMware support to ask 
where, where's my where's my email? Now, one of the questions I got, I want to make I want to make sure we clear clear this up. So this is not a promotion. This is not some sort of promotional offer from VMware. This is a product, and in fact, it's a supported product. Is that right? Exactly. Um, when I when I hear the term about the, the slash promotion, I always get a little frustrated because this is a full offer, right? And and it's a uh, uh, it's a full. Uh, it's based on a very strong partnership with uh, with Novell, uh, and so we're we're um, making plans on how to use uh, the operating system going forward. Uh, you know, we also announced, for example, that we'll standardize all the VMware virtual appliances uh, on on SUSE Linux for uh, for VMware, uh, and so there are plans and, and roadmaps being being developed between the two companies about this system. So it's not a, a temporary promotion. It's something that has uh, has legs. And, and I'll, although we are moving our, although we're moving our appliances to to SUSE Linux, uh, this is in no way, from what I understand, we're not endorsing SUSE over other operating systems, or this is now not a, the blessed operating system, and other operating systems are not. You can still run anything at a VM. No, we pretty much maintain our core operating system neutrality uh, stand, and for for uh, from our standpoint, from the VMware standpoint. Uh, the customer needs to choose whatever operating system uh, fits their need, uh, his need, or, or and and there's really um, no plan to support any uh, other other uh, operating system differently from what we do with uh, with SLES. Uh, this is just a way for us to provide more choice uh, to our customers uh, and and provide additional benefits should they want to uh, take advantage of them. Well, I think it makes it, although you guys don't endorse it still makes a pretty strong uh, uh, statement by shipping it and, and supporting it. Sure, so that, absolutely. that should be a clear well, choice I think, to the customer. Yeah, I think people, uh, I mean, there's a number of reasons. Why did, yeah, why did we start shipping it? And then I want to ask also why SUSE, but, but why did, I mean, what is, was one of the reasons that VMware started? Well, so the... the um, what are customers asking for? So we, we came across a couple of trends in, in the industry that uh, sort of uh, made us um, think of it providing this, this new offer uh, to, to our customers. The first trend is that increasing portion of our customers are deploying mission-critical applications on, on vSphere. Uh, and uh, the, second, the second key trend is that uh, most of these new um, um, applications or mission-critical applications are being virtualized using uh, Linux as an operating system. Uh, actually, Linux is the fastest growing operating system uh, in, in the market. Uh, SUSE Linux offers a very broad uh, application compatibility and, and uh, certifies over, I think, 6,000 6, yeah. uh, applications. And so we kind of did the math uh, and we, we said, okay, let's find a way to um, you know, help our customers or provide a way for our customers to increase the rate at which they're virtualizing and offer this, uh, this opportunity to save money on, on, on some portions of the stack and, and uh, mm -hmm. continue to invest. So, so yeah, Martin, is, yeah talk, talk to me a little bit about SUSE and its ecosystem. That seems to be sure. really uh, really one of the compelling pieces of the, of the distribution, mm -hmm. although obviously there are others. Right, so, so first of all, this is not something new and quick that we jump into and, and, VMware, and VMware decided to OEM the product and just go with it. We've been working with you guys for a while. Um, I believe uh, VMware Copenhagen, we announced uh, the unified certification, or was it later? Uh, we announced unified certification, which makes it easier for the uh, ISVs actually to certify. Uh, while they certify on SLES, they also certify in a virtualized environment on VMware. Oh, okay. So we've done quite a few of those things, going, you know, in, in the past, and then it just you know, made a lot of sense to VMware to extend that to 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 different level. Now on the ecosystem, um, uh, SLES is really. Uh, uh, one of the biggest distributions out there, of course, and and it's really strong from the enterprise perspective. So if you look at our unique uh, relationships, like with SAP, uh, and you know customers deploying their mission critical systems, huge critical systems to you know on SLES and now VMware, um, that really gives you a lot of uh, uh, confidence in, in the operating system. Mm -hmm. How's what has the reaction been from customers? Obviously, we're here in Europe. Uh, uh, SUSE is very big, you know, is, is, is strong in Europe. Uh, wh what's the reaction been here in Copenhagen? Well, from us, it's been pretty astonishing, positive. Uh, I mean, we didn't expect this, uh, uh, the, the pickup that we had. Uh, a lot of questions, uh, a lot of people who are asking, you know, I, I purchased before uh, mm -hmm. vSphere before June 9th. When is it that I'm going to get uh, SLES? And we're working on it. Okay. Uh, and so, I mean, it's uh, it's good to hear that customers 
want this. Uh, and uh, we've had quite a bit of, of activations already. Uh, and and uh, you know, the, the trend is expected to continue given, given that uh, we're planning to make this uh, a more broadly available uh, solution. Great to work with, uh, with Novell uh, on this and uh, being able to provide such a valuable product to, to, our, uh, to our customers. Now, if you're an ISV, uh, obviously we talked about a little bit about certification and the joint certification, and you are looking at a virtual appliance distribution model. Um, you know, let's talk, maybe let's talk a little bit about Studio briefly about what it is and, and the ways that that uh, SUSE Linux, uh, you know, has for different different. I mean, different. I don't know what you call them, personas or flavors or slices or right, right. versions uh, for some of these different deployment models. Right. So. Um, of course, you guys have your own studio that mm -hmm. uh, supports less as well, but uh, there is a novel product called uh, SUSE Studio, susestudio.com, which is basically designed and optimized for building uh, appliances based on SLES just NAF operating system. Uh, so I encourage everybody to go there and spend a couple of minutes. Within five minutes, you'll be you know, able to build an appliance, deploy it. Um, so it's, it's a great tool, flexible tool. I think we have about 300,000 appliances built. Okay. Uh, or 30 million downloads, I believe. Yeah, and we're, we're certainly so. deploying a lot of our software as appliances these days. Exactly. Well, guys, thanks for coming by and talking about SUSE Linux Enterprise Server for VMware. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thanks.